Guys, it might be because I'm the Easter Bunny, but uh, I tell you, Easter is my absolute favorite time of year. In fact, it's safe to say I count down 364 days to get to it, each and every year. Tell us something we don't know, Benny. But for the record, I think I can speak for Henrietta when I say we agree with you 100%. No doubt. This is going to be the best Easter ever. You say that every year, Hen. That doesn't make it any less true, Cosmo. Easter's the number one holiday, hands down. Everybody knows that. <laughs> I bet Santa Claus would differ with you on that, but, but I sure won't. Easter forever. Ah, this is it. Another Easter. And you know what makes this one different than all the others. Everybody's going to be oh so happy to get painted Easter eggs while we get nothing. Our whole countryside's going to smell like rotten eggs after all those Easter egg hunts. Good guesses, both of you, Frizzlebun and Frizzlebutt. But no, this year's Easter's going to be a whole lot different because of one small detail. <laughs> it's gonna be completely ruined. <laughs> That's right, with your help, I'll accomplish my most sinister plot yet. I'm gonna turn Easter into a horrible time. Everybody's gonna hate, and that will be the end of Easter. So you're saying e Easter will suck eggs? But Bad Clyde, we've been trying to ruin this pesky Easter holiday for a thousand years. <laughs> what makes this year different? I'll tell you, my dear Frizzlebun. Feast your beady little eyes on the magical talisman that's going to change Easter forever. Uh, what, what am I looking at? Yeah, what are we looking at, Bad Clyde? There, there's, there's nothing there. Think again. I'm thinking, but I'm not seeing. You two lucky fellas are staring right through the great invisible Easter egg of Moffat Land. The, well, the what? The great invisible Easter egg of Moffat Land. <laughs> of course I've heard of it, but I had never seen it before. I'm still not seeing it because it's, it's not there. It is, you bonehead, right before your very eyes. Nope, not seeing it. Uh, anyway, if I may go on, this object holds great and mighty powers. Powers that will, at the very least, ruin Easter for all those annoying children around the world. And at the very most? At the very most? <laughs> it'll get rid of that pesky Easter bunny forever. That sounds delectable, boss. <laughs> uh, how does it work? Still not seeing it. Well, Frizzlebutt, the great invisible Easter egg of Moffatland works much the same as a crystal ball. That is, a crystal ball with bad intentions. <laughs> Instead of foreseeing events, my new invisible talisman leaves the foresight to its user and instead makes whatever it is imagined real. Wow! What do you plan to do with it, Clyde? Excellent question, Frizzlebutt. I intend to banish our old friend Benny the Easter Bunny to the land of the holiday misfits, from whence nobody has ever returned. I hate that place. Scary? Dreary? <laughs> no fun at all. If that egg actually existed, it would be the best thing that could happen to Easter. But Bad Clyde, no Easter Bunny means no Easter, right? I never said there'd be no more Easter, did I, Frizzlebutt? But if, uh, if Benny the Easter Bunny gets banished to the land of the holiday misfits forever, then who is... You're looking at the new Easter mascot. You are planning to take Benny's place? I am. <laughs> I will take his place and crown myself as the new Easter King. As King, I'll be in charge of the Easter holidays. And mark my words, all those Easter morning smiles will turn to tears. <laughs> but, 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 
bad kind. I, uh... What is it, Frizzlebun? You can't beat the Easter Bunny. He may be cute and all, but he's very powerful. Especially considering I can't even see the great invisible Easter egg of Moffat Land. I am much more powerful than that fluffy bag of carrots. I still don't see no egg. Fine. You'll experience the powers of the great invisible Easter egg of Moffat Land for yourself. From dark and dismal land of the holiday misfits, be gone! Wow! <laughs> did you really just send Frizzlebutt to the land of the holiday misfits? I did indeed, Frizzlebutt. But don't worry, he'll send us a postcard. <laughs> How about you? Do you believe I possess the power of the great invisible Easter egg of Muffetland? Yep, yes I do. Good. This was just a tune-up. Now, to prepare the egg for its real work, getting rid of Benny the Easter Bunny once and for all. Can't wait, boss. I just can't wait. Glad to hear that. That makes two of us. Come, time's a wasting. Oh, I'm quite bummed, Gargoff. Why, Santa? Did the naughty boys and girls give you extra trouble this year? Well, they're no picnic either. But really, it's because of the Easter holidays. Why? What's there not to like about Easter? Because it means our Christmas season is long over, and it'll still be months before it comes back around. Oh, yeah. I see your point. <sighs> What a drag. Nobody needs us. What on earth will we do for uh, seven months and 24 days? <sighs> I got it, Santa. Why don't we, uh, okay, follow me here, celebrate Easter. <laughs> Garg off my trusty reindeer. You're always a ray of sunshine through the snow. That's what I'm here for. Well, that and keeping us on schedule on the big day, eh? <laughs> Indeed, but do tell me more. Why don't we just relax, meet up with Benny the Easter Bunny, go on Easter egg hunts, and enjoy one of those good Easter dinners? Mmm, with all the trimmings? With all the trimmings. By George Gargoff, you're right. Uh, don't mention it. <laughs> Wait, who's George? Hey, you're not thinking of pairing me up with a partner again, are you? If I said it once, I've said it a thousand times. I work best alone. Or, you know, with one partner. A jolly partner. With a big beard and a loud... Oh, 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 oh. Relax, Gargoff. You're the one and only reindeer I need. Say, my belly growls just thinking about that Easter feast. But, you know... <laughs> We still have a whole nother day before anyone's going to sit down to enjoy an Easter dinner. What shall we do then? How about some adventuring? Uh-oh, I've heard you talk like this before. Remember the Antarctica incident? Well, perhaps not that much adventuring. I admit, that was a tad too wild, <laughs> even for my standards. Phew, glad to hear that. I'm not much for big adventures, especially if they come with heaps of danger. But <laughs> a little adventure keeps you young and on your toes. On my hooves, you mean. <laughs> you know who could help us kick up some adventure? My good pal, Babu. Babu? If anyone knows how to get Santa and his reindeer in trouble, it's Babu. That's the last creature I want to see. Now, now, Gargoff, let's just go to see my old friend. We can only get in trouble if trouble is what we're looking for. Oh, that's reassuring. Well, well, as fate would have it, look where we are, Babu's homeland. I was hoping you two showed up. Babu, how are you, old friend? I'm fine, but Benny the Easter Bunny is not doing so great. He's in a world of trouble, and only we can help him. What happened? Nothing yet, but uh, something is bound to happen. Whatever do you mean? Bad Clyde is at it again. He's hatched a plan to take Easter from Benny and ruin the day for kids everywhere. Oh, ho, 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 no. Bad Clyde? He, he can't do that, can he? I'm afraid so, Gargoff. 
This time, Bad Clyde has serious power on his side. The power of the Great Invisible Easter Egg of Moffatland. The Great Invisible Easter Egg of Moffatland? Sounds like trouble. Tell us, Babu, what's Bad Clyde's plan? Well, let me tell you from the beginning. Somehow, Mad Clyde has come into possession of the great invisible Easter Egg of Muffetland, and its powers can end Easter as we know it for all time! Mmm, this great invisible Easter Egg of Muffetland sounds downright dangerous. <laughs> It is! Last time it was used by a wicked troll to turn Halloween from a feel-good holiday of sweetest pie elves delivering candy to all good children to the dark and spooky holiday we know today full of ghosts and ghouls and scary creatures of all kind? Yes! That is so! Oh gee, I wouldn't want that to ever happen to Christmas. Or Easter! So the powers of the great invisible Easter egg of Muffetland uh, 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 are real. They are! The great egg gives anyone who possesses it supernatural powers that can be used for good! Or for evil! That's right! And knowing bad Clyde, he, he, he will use his power to wreak havoc upon this land and Easter! There's no time to spare. We must find Benny the Easter Bunny at once and warn him. If I may make a suggestion, Santa, I say we hightail it back to the North Pole, stat. Some good old relaxation, a massage, <laughs> maybe a mud mask, until work picks up in December. Sounds just peachy to me. Not so fast, Gargoff. <laughs> if Benny really is in danger, it's our duty to warn him. It's our duty to deliver presents on Christmas morning. Battling loonies with invisible magical weapons is for someone else. Like Babu here. Babu, you can handle that, right? Well, let's see. Yeah, no. I think you guys have the edge. It's up to us to stop Bad Clyde and save Easter. Why don't we think it through? I mean, why rush off into the wild unknown? Taking on Bad Clyde in his Easter egg of Moffatland sounds like a scary proposition. Gargoff, you forget I'm Santa Claus, and you're my trusty right-hand reindeer, and we're a fearless team, always on the side of justice. Oh boy, here goes Santa. I've seen him like this before, which means we're gonna get into all sorts of wild and dangerous adventures, and there is no telling how it will all end. That's what I was hoping for, Gargoff! That makes one of us. On with the mission, Gargoff! Away in a flash! You know, Henrietta, no matter how many Easters we enjoy, it never gets old! Our holiday is the best holiday around! And it's an honor to work it with an Easter Bunny as awesome as you are, Benny! Oh my, am, am I blushing? You flatter me! <laughs> You're so modest! Benny, you make so many children happy. Even if it's just one day a year, that one day is full of memories that last lifetimes. Hey, I, I just enjoy seeing all them smiles on the kids' faces. That's what I'm in it for. Well, if I've never told you before, I'm just happy to help. You're the best bunny boss I could ask for. I only hope we can reach Benny the Easter Bunny in time to deter Bad Clyde's crazy plans. With all due respect, Santa, I had a feeling when you said you wanted to see Babu that we'd find ourselves in some kind of crazy adventure. And on the eve of Easter nonetheless. Oh boy. I was planning to kick my hooves up by the fire tonight and enjoy a mug or two of Mrs. Claus's world famous hot chocolate. <sighs> Oh, 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 oh. I'd almost forgotten Mrs. Claus's hot chocolate myself, Gargoff, old boy. Tell you what, as soon as we warn Benny and thwart Bad Clyde, we'll head back to the North Pole and pour ourselves as many mugs as we want. How's that sound? This is it, Frizzlebutt. The realization of a lifelong dream. I will be the king of Easter! And once king, you will turn Easter into the worst holiday of all! 
<laughs> That's right. All that needs doing now is to recite the magic incantation. Then we'll be rid of that pesky Easter bunny forever! <laughs> I can't believe it, boss. I never thought I'd see the day. No more Easter bunny! The day is here, my trusty frizzlebutt. <laughs> Let's make it happen. <laughs> Recite the magic incantation, Bad Clyde. <clears throat> oh, forces of darkness, opposed to the light. Oh, powers of pain, oh, bearers of fright. Deliver this subject by day or by night. The bunny named Benny, who gives me the fits. Banish him to the land of the holiday misfits. Benny? Look, is that Santa Claus? Hmm, it sure is. What's he doing out this time of year? I don't know. Benny, we need to talk. What is it, Santa? What's the ruckus about? Hey, where did they go? Oh, no. <laughs> Bad Glide's incantation worked. We're too late, Gargoff. Easter is lost. For parsnip's sake, what just happened? I'm not sure. Where in the world are we, Benny? I don't think you're in the world anymore. At least any world you're familiar with. Frizzlebuns, what's the meaning of this? Where's Bad Clyde? Yeah, where he goes, you're sure to follow right behind. He's not here. I'm here all alone. Where is... Here. Welcome to the land of the holiday misfits, fellas. Dreary, scary, and downright gloomy. <gasps> I know, and we're never to return whence we came. Such is the nature of this place. Sorcery? How is this possible? Easy. Bad Clyde got his mitts on the great invisible Easter egg of Moffatland. That's how. The great invisible... It's real? I thought it was just a children's fable. I did too, and look where it got me. But, uh, you're usually in cahoots with Clyde. Uh, why are you here? I dared question his powers, and, and now here I am, in the land of the holiday misfits. Frizzlebuns, is, is there a way out of here, or are we trapped? Yeah, can we get back home? For all intents and purposes, we're trapped. But... 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 There is one way, but I don't know of anyone ever trying it successfully. What is it? What's the one way? You gotta find the elusive Great King of the Land of Holiday Misfits. The Great King of the Land of Holiday Misfits? Well, he can't be too hard to find. Hold on, rabbit ears, that ain't all. Once you find him, if you find him, you gotta convince him to grant your request to leave the Land of the Holiday Misfits. That's it? We just have to convince him to let us go? Well, that doesn't sound too hard. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I hear he can't stand birds. They poop all over his subjects. Oh, for all the eggs of Easter. I make a point to look before I poop. And he can't stand bunnies as they hop all over his vegetable garden. We'll just have to make sure he likes us. And if I see a vegetable garden, I'll make sure I tiptoe around it. <laughs> now let's go find the king. You'll never find him. This land is as wide as it is dreary. Any ideas where to look? Ha, you think I'd tell you? I'd already be back talking to him on my own, trying to get back to my bad deeds if I knew where he was. Of course you would. You, after all, are one of Bad Clyde's minions. You best know it. Say, how about you come with us, Frizzlebuns? Stick together, the three of us. Why would you offer to help me, Fluffball? We're enemies. We're not enemies, Frizzlebuns. You're just Bad Clyde's evil minion. <laughs> There's no reason we can't be friends. Ew! No, I won't. I'm a bad Frizzlebuns, and bad Frizzlebuns don't make friends with Easter bunnies. Suit yourself, Frizzlebuns. Just remember, the offer stands. I think I'd rather eat dirt and drink rainwater. Scram, rodent. Have it your way. Don't worry, I will. Let's go, Benny. 
Our help is not appreciated. We blew it, Gargoff. This is an absolutely ho ho horrible turn of events. Our good friend Benny is gone, perhaps forever. And Easter itself is in dire straits. Uh, shucks, Santa. That's a bummer. I feel as if I could have done something more. There, there, my good Gargoff. This is no fault of yours. Thanks, I think. We tried our best, but we're up against powerful forces of evil outside our control. This is all the doing of one very wicked individual. Bad Clyde. Oh, Santa, what can we do? There is only one who might be able to help us now. Who is it? Speak, Santa. Make that white beard flap at once, by gosh. I must know who can help us. The only interdimensional magical peacemaker I know, Balthazar the Magician. Balthazar the Magician? But his homeland is most treacherous terrain this side of Darklight Mountain. Yes, I know, but I'm afraid we've no choice, Gargoff. It's either that or say goodbye to our dear friends forever. And Easter. And Easter. And chocolate eggs. And chocolate eggs. An Easter dinner? An Easter dinner! <sighs> Balthazar the Magician it is, then. That's my reindeer. <laughs> Off we go! I knew I should have stayed in bed today. Frizzlebutt, now that Penny the Easter Bunny is out of the picture, our next move is to take over his lair. Wow! <laughs> A downright Shakespearean plan, boss! We don't have to shake our spears at anything, Frizzlebutt. We have the mighty egg, and the egg is all powerful. I, I meant Shakespeare, the, uh, the, you know, the playwright? What? Who? Never mind. Anyway, once we're inside the Easter Bunny's lair, we'll raid the fridge. Well, that's not, I mean, yes, of course we'll raid the fridge, but, 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 but that's not our primary goal. Layers like that, <laughs> I bet you they got two fridges, maybe three. I'll bet they do, Frizzlebutt, I'll bet they do. Full of delicious Easter treats. Yes, Easter treats. Okay, but let's stay on point, follow me here. Once we're in, I will use the power of the great invisible Easter egg of Muffetland to take over Benny's Easter machine controls and turn that whole blasted holiday upside down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so how are you going to do it, boss? Or how are you going to make Easter stink? I'm glad you asked, Frizzlebutt, because I think my plan is so simple. It's, it's... It's genius! Tell me, tell me! <laughs> tell me this suspense is killing me! I'm going to give out rotten eggs to every boy and girl across the land! <laughs> eggs so foul and putrid that every child in the world will hate Easter once and for all! Ew. I wouldn't want to be in their shoes when they crack open those things. <laughs> you're a genius, Bad Clyde. I know. That's why you're the minion and I'm the boss, Frizzlebutt. Hmm, yeah, but uh, I'm clever too, aren't I, Bad Clyde? Huh? Sure you are. I couldn't do a thing as audacious as destroying Easter without good help. But remember... Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Evil doing's a lot of work, and I have a pretty heavy head. <laughs> no doubt, boss. <laughs> You're heavy all over. <laughs> Speaking of, how will we get to the Easter lair? It's far, and you're fat. What did you say? I said you're pretty fit, <laughs> uh, but the lair is far away. That's what I said. That's right. I am fit. Very fit. But we must make haste. We haven't got much time before Easter. With the help of my magical egg, we'll be there in no time. 
If you'd have told me yesterday that I wouldn't be relaxing with some springtime eggnog right now, but insisted trying to rescue the Easter Bunny and Easter's very existence from an evil spell, I'd have laughed you right out of the North Pole. The great invisible Easter egg of Muffetland is no laughing matter. Just when you thought the holiday world was safe. I see that now, the foolishness of my ways. Gargoff, think! Use your reindeer brain. There must be something we can do to save Benny and Henrietta. <laughs> Thinking is not my forte, Santa. I do best when I sip eggnog. I need you on your A game, Gargoff. Drop the eggnog talk and think. Hmm, I might know someone who can help. Really? Tell me, my trusty reindeer. Who? A few years ago, before I came to the North Pole, I made some runs for the Great Sage. If anyone can break the egg spell, it's him. The Great Sage! Do you think he'd be interested in helping us? Why wouldn't he be? He's a great and powerful sage. That he is, but uh, <laughs> he's also ornery and short-tempered. What else we got, Santa? We must try, ornery or short-tempered. We need help, and we need it stat! The Great Sage it is then. Let's go! <laughs> Let's make haste, Henrietta. We must make it to the Great King before Bad Klein ruins Easter forever! Should we bring the Mushroom King some gifts of tidings? What do you suggest? I could lay an egg. He hates birds, remember? An egg is just a bird in an oval box. Yeah, you're right. Maybe some butter or something. Hold on, helium heads. Just where do you two think you're going? We're looking for the great king. Can you tell us where to find him? They're looking for the great king. And they need our help. Isn't that special? Sure is. How much you got, Bunny? Excuse me? Uh, oh, uh, uh, we, we don't have any money. You hear that they don't have no money? <laughs> you two are in for a long, hard road ahead. <laughs> I guess you haven't heard. This is our land, and you must pay the toll. Yeah, the hen will do. In return, we'll tell you exactly where to find the great king, more or less. What are we going to do, Benny? We're penniless. And I sure don't want to stay behind in the land of holiday misfits. Let me handle this. Handle it quickly, Benny. Or I might be tempted to... De dear fellas, we appreciate the barter idea, but I have a third option to propose. You're in no position to make demands, Rabbit, but I'll humor you. What do you propose? I propose you help two lost travelers on their journey home by telling us where we can find the great king out of the kindness of your own hearts. Doesn't he know that our hearts are black as sweetness. I said we should spread some sweet kindness and help those lost travelers find the great king so that they can get home safe. What's happening? Shh! You don't get to be the Easter Bunny without learning some neat tricks. Watch this. <laughs> Barry, which direction will take us to the king? Look for narrow pathway along the tall oak trees. And then follow the narrow pathway until you find yourself in the magic valley. <laughs> there is where the great king dwells. Thanks, guys. You've been a great help. Oh, goody. Uh, nice to meet you both. Be safe out there. On our way we go to meet the great king. Um, what in the world just happened back there? The oldest trick in the book. Uh, I simply showed those two that sweetness trumps bitterness every time. You know, after all this time, you never fail to surprise me, Benny. Back at you, Hen. Now, keep your eyes peeled for the Magic Valley. We have a king to catch. I could eat a horse. Figuratively speaking, I mean. Santa, what do you say we take a break and order up some pre-Easter brunch? <laughs> I'm famished. That sounds delightful, Gargoff. <laughs> My belly could use a little filling as well. 
But first things first, we must handle our business and find the Great Sage. Excuse me, good sir. You look like you know your way around here. I'm looking for the Great Sage. <laughs> My name is Marlequin. And does it say tour guide on my forehead? Hmm, no, it doesn't. It most certainly doesn't. Then why are you asking me, Gramps and Goofy Mule? Goofy Mule? How dare you? I'm a Christmas reindeer. Whatever. You two look goofy to me. <laughs> hey, eyes don't lie. Fine. I can't fault your eyes for seeing what's not there. Regardless, I must ask you, do, do, do you know where we can order some good bangers and mash around here? Here we go again with the tour guide questions. Okay, comedians, tell you what, I know the answers to both your questions and I'll tell you on one condition. Sure! What is it? You must answer my unsolvable riddle first. Oh no, a riddle? I'm terrible at brain crunchers on an empty stomach. Uh, have it your way. Good luck, Rubes. <laughs> Let me know how life goes. We can always try. What's the harm in that? Well, the harm is that if you fail, I will turn you into bog frogs. <laughs> and I tell you, life as a bog frog is <laughs> muddy, stinky, and downright unpleasant. Oh, 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 no! For all the snowflakes in the universe, that doesn't sound like a good deal. I'd say we go back to the North Pole, Santa, and get that massage and mud mask we've been talking about. Just chill out until Christmas comes rolling around. No way, no how. We must find the Great Sage, no matter the risk. Go ahead, good fella. Ask away. Oh, boy. <laughs> I better practice my croak. <laughs> Here it goes. What has a mouth but cannot talk? What can run but never walks? What has a head but cannot weep? What has a bed but cannot sleep? Answer me that and I'll tell you all you want to know. You had to ask, didn't you, Santa? Come now, Gargoff. Life is full of obstacles and opportunities. We never get anywhere if we can't tell one from the other. This is an opportunity. Well, I have a head that can weep. Watch me cry a river as I get ready to be turned into a bog frog. That's it, Gargoff. You just solved the riddle. I did? Yes. What did I say? Think about it. You said you have a head that can weep, and what? Watch me cry a river if, if... Yes. What has a mouth but cannot talk? What can run but never walks? What has a head but cannot weep? What has a bed but cannot sleep? A river! Are we right, Marlequin? Oh, yes, you are correct. It, it is a river. You two are smarter than you look. Ho, ho, ho! One for the good guys. Woot, woot, uh-huh, woot, woot. Oh, stop your hullabaloo, you annoying creatures. We won't stop until you tell us where to find the great sage. In that case... Follow the great path to the enchanted woods of Gwen Hale Falls. There you will find the great sage. Hansel Atten the cook makes the best hangers and mash. <laughs> Tell her Marlequin sent you.
I still can't believe we did it. <laughs> We're going to destroy Easter forever. Not so fast, Frizzlebutt. It's true we're almost there, but our mission won't be complete until the children awake Easter morning in their stench-filled homes to find nothing but fetid baskets of rotten eggs. <laughs> yeah, but with Benny the Easter Bunny out of the way, <laughs> nothing can stop us now. <laughs> it's gonna be glorious <laughs> and stinky. There is one small problem that could give us trouble if we don't eliminate it now. Benny's helper, Cosmo, is still around. He's not the Easter Bunny, but he is dedicated and will do anything to save this lousy holiday. <sighs> Are you, you thinking what I'm thinking, boss? I am, Frizzlebutt. It's time to get rid of the last snag in our plan. Cosmo, watch out! <laughs> Here we come! Oh, great sage, we come from far and wide to see you. I see. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> and what do you seek? <laughs> I am Santa, and this is my Christmas reindeer, Gargolf. We come to seek help. A wicked creature has gotten his evil hands on the great invisible Easter egg of Muffetland and used it to cast a banishment spell on the Easter Bunny. Great Scott! The egg is capable of great good and great harm. <laughs> Where has the Easter Bunny been banished to? The land of the holiday misfits. Oh boy, he's, he's in trouble. I'm afraid so, oh great sage of sages. This is why we've come. We seek your help. If the bunny has already crossed over, there's, there's not much we can do to bring him back. <laughs> it's entirely up to him to escape. I was afraid of that. Bummer of bummers. However... However, there is one surefire way to defeat an invisible egg, Evil Jewar. There is? Yes, and if you defeat him, you can still save Easter. But how? The power of a Christmas reindeers can topple even the most evil egg wielder, you see. Come on, are you serious? I am indeed. Whether you realize it or not, you hold your own power. And it can move mountains if you let it, my friend. Ah, oh, get out. That can't be true. It is true. Back in the olden days, reindeers were capable of reversing any and all spells. Have you forgotten? Hmm, I guess I have. You must remember your powers, reindeer. It's up to you to use your powers to make wrong things right again. Oh boy, the pressure is on. Can you tell I'm sweating, Santa? We have arrived. We should find the great king of the land of holiday misfits somewhere around here. Aha! Uh -huh. Who goes there? <coughs> Greetings, O oh great and mighty king. Forgive our intrusion, but uh, we seem to have become lost and would love to find our way home. Home? What say you, strangers? Uh, th this is home. For you, king, but for us, home's back in Easterland. Easter? I haven't heard that word in a dragon's age. <laughs> Is it still celebrated? It's bigger than ever, Great King. In fact, meet Benny, the Easter Bunny. He's the ambassador of Easter. You're the... In the flesh. Pleasure to meet you, King. Ew, I hate bunnies. They hop all over my vegetable garden. I don't hop in vegetable gardens, oh, Great King. I'm too busy running the Easter holidays. So what are you doing here? Uh, shouldn't you be preparing eggs and uh, gifts and whatnot? 
Wait, uh, what uh, time of year is it? Uh, we keep time differently here, you know. It's Easter Eve where we come from. Well, what in the world are you doing here? Shouldn't you be working? That's what we're hoping to talk to you about, King. You see, we, we don't want to miss Easter at all. But a real bad guy cast a spell on us and banished us here against our will. If I had one farthing every time I heard that one. <laughs> we were told you could help us get back home, oh great king. Is that so? And, and why exactly would I do that? Because you're a kind and fair king who doesn't want to see the Easter Bunny trapped in your world while millions and millions of children go without Easter. And who are you? Oh, this is my good friend Henrietta the Hen. She's a great Easter helper. Oh, Benny, you flatter me. A bird? I hate birds. They poop everywhere. I don't poop everywhere. I only poop where I should. Which is in the most inappropriate places. Not true. Oh, fine. While you two are busy not hopping nor pooping, <laughs> I'll return to my kingly duties. I'm, I'm much too busy to waste my time with you two. Uh, King, before you go, do you think you could maybe, uh, grant us passage back to our world? No. Is that a simple enough answer? Scram! Or oh, I know what I'll be eating for dinner tonight. A rabbit and hen stew. Say, Great King, we heard your son, the prince, has abandoned his royal duties and run off to the land of magic. If we were to, say, return the prince to you, do you think you could repay us by sending us home? My son? Oh. Others have tried to convince the prince to return to me, but uh, he's headstrong and independent, just like his old man. Sounds like a chip off the old block. You got that right. Alas, if you return the prince to me, I will grant your wish. We'll do our best, King, and, and thank you for the opportunity to help. Good luck, Hopper and Pooper. <laughs> uh, hope you succeed. There's the Easter Lair, boss. Dead ahead. Yes, we're right on course, Frizzlebutt. When we get there, Cosmo will come out to greet us. When he does, we'll have the invisible egg ready and zap! Zap! <laughs> And that goofy Cosmo will join his friends in the land of the holiday misfits forever! <laughs> and Easter will be ours! <laughs> Pace yourself, Gargoff. Remember, the future of Easter rides on your powers. Thanks, Santa. <laughs> no pressure or anything. I have the utmost faith in you, my friend. You've been a hero to children across the globe, keeping us on schedule every year. Now you'll be a hero on Easter Sunday, too. A two-holiday reindeer. You'll go down in history. <laughs> Where have I heard that before? <laughs> Onward, Gargoff. We've an Easter to rescue. I gotta hand it to you, Hen. That was a gutsy play back there, wagering our release on the Prince's return. It was worth a try. Besides, I've seen you work wonders, Benny. I think we can do it. Look, down there. Is that Pippin the Christmas Elf? Last I heard, he was kicked out of the North Pole for stealing presents and selling them on the side. It is. Should we talk to him? He he's, he's bat poop crazy. Maybe he knows where to find the Mushroom Prince. You're right. Hello again, Pippin. It's been a while. Fancy meeting you here, Hoppy. <laughs> Don't you have an Easter to attend to? We're, uh, we're working on that. Say, you, you don't happen to know where we might find the Prince, do you? I know 
everything that goes on around here, <laughs> Cottontail. You ought to know that by now. Nothing escapes my eye. Great. You could tell us where we can find the Prince of the Land of Misfits. Sure, I could, but but what kind of fun would that be for me? <laughs> no, I, I think you got to answer a question for Pippin before Pippin will answer a question for you. Okay, uh, what's your question? Riddle me this, lucky foot. Um, I'm as light as a feather, yet the strongest man can't hold me for more than five minutes. What am I? Uh, I'm Stump. We can do this, Benny. It's a trick question. It's got to be simple, right? Probably ridiculously simple, but we're running out of time fast. Let's think, let's think. I'm as light as a feather, yet the strongest man can't hold me for more than five minutes. Hmm. I'm not holding my breath we can solve this one, Henrietta. Wait, that's it. You solved it, Benny. I'm as light as a feather, yet the strongest man can't hold me for more than five minutes. I'm breath. Right? Ah, uh, you two are no fun. Yeah, that's right. The great prince is hiding from his father that way. In the valley of no. You can't miss him. Thank you, Pippin. Yeah, yeah. Give Santa my regards. Aha! Back off, foolish creatures. Easter's ours now, and so is this place. <laughs> yeah, airhead. <laughs> Kiss your holiday goodbye. Bad Clyde's gonna run the show now. What? Where's Benny and Henrietta? What have you done with them? Nothing we aren't gonna do to you too, poultry creature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prepare to join your buddies in the land of the holiday misfits. The land of the holiday misfits? But tomorrow's Easter. We don't have time for this foolishness. Correction! <laughs> Tomorrow was Easter. <laughs> now it will be a day of darkness, <laughs> misery, and rotten eggs. <laughs> That's right! And after kids all over the world find their baskets full of rotten eggs in the morning, it'll be known as the worst day in history. You can't do this! I forbid you. You can forbid us all you want, you boar. It won't do you any good. Prepare to meet your fluffy friends in the great beyond. Hello there. Are you the great prince of the land of holiday misfits? <laughs> That's me. And who are you two bros? I'm Benny the Easter Bunny. And, and this here is Henrietta, the Easter Hen. Sweet. Hey, hey, you want to hang out? It's just me here, so <laughs> you got plenty of room. Where'd you guys come from, anyway? Funny you ask, Prince. We indeed have quite a story. We were banished here by an evil spell, and we're, we're trying to get back home in time to deliver Easter gifts to all the kids. No way. Hey, are you the... Great Prince, meet Benny, the Easter Bunny. Sweet! I thought you looked familiar. D dude, I'm a big fan of yours. Really? Well, well, I'm honored. Honor's all mine, bro. But uh, you guys gotta get out of here. It's gonna be Easter in a few, right? It is, but, but we have one problem. The spell's holding us trapped. And only your father, the Great King, can reverse it. We need him to grant us release, or we're stuck here forever. Bummer. My old man's a real hard case. I'm sure he can be, but he was actually kind enough to agree to let us go. He was? Whoa! He never just, you know, helps people? We negotiated with him. Must have been a tough negotiation. Well, that depends on you. Me? <laughs> Whoa! We promised to return his son, the great prince, back to him in exchange for our release. Oh, wow! <laughs> so, Easter's in my hands? 
It looks that way, Prince. And if you don't get home, kids won't get anything in their baskets? Actually, we don't know what'll happen. Bad Clyde is in control, and no, no telling what he might do to our holiday. Drag, man. <laughs> Sounds like my old man. Never lets me have any fun. He's all about obligation and duty and tradition. <laughs> I just want to chill, dudes. Maybe you guys can talk it out and find a middle ground. The king may not be the easiest guy to live with, but we can tell he loves you and he wants the best for you. I love my pop too. It's, it's not that I don't support him. It's just that I want to do my own thing, you know, and follow my own dreams. I want to be a famous trombone player. <laughs> if you explain that to him, maybe you'll come to a new understanding and it'll be easier to live with each other. Yeah, you're growing up, but to your dad, you're still his little prince. I'm sure if you tell him your dreams, he'll understand. You sure? Sure we're sure. Sure we're sure. You two are pretty level-headed. <laughs> now let's go save Easter. And you'll never be able to return. <laughs> this is the end for you, your friends, and your irksome holiday. Give them my regards when you see them, and tell them Bad Clyde sent all the kids rotten eggs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they cried and cried and couldn't believe the Easter Bunny turned on them like that. <laughs> You'll never get away with this. I already have. Now say goodbye to this world forever, and hello to the land of holiday misfits. Oh, forces of darkness, opposed to the light. Oh, powers of pain, oh, bearers of fright. Deliver this subject by day or by night. The foolish creature named Cosmo, who gives me the fits. Banish him to the land of the holiday mist. Stop. Release that bird at once, Bad Clyde. Stick a stocking in your pie hole, fat man. I run this place now. Yeah, you ain't invited down this chimney. <laughs> ah, you have returned. <laughs> Let me guess. The great prince refused to come home. Wrong. Say hello to the great prince. The son? Hey, yo, yo, Dad? I, I'm sorry I ran away in such a huff. Oh, 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 my boy! I'm so glad you're back. <laughs> so glad, in fact, I will never put down your dreams. You shall become a, a great trombone player, if that is what you want. I can? Really? Truly? Pinky swear? Yes, uh, you can become a trombone player if, if that is what makes you happy. Whoa, bro. That's rave. <laughs> Although, uh, I decided I want to be a pan flute player instead. A trombone, a pan flute, whatever. Oh, uh, thanks, Dad. Then I promise you I will attend to my royal duties without complaining. You will be the great son I have always longed for. I will! Aww, I'm clucking up, Benny. You did it. Uh, you two returned my boy to me. How can I ever repay you? Send us back home so we may save Easter. Ah, yes, I remember. Well, <laughs> it looks as though it's hello, goodbye, Easter Bunny. But, uh, but first, a going away party for new friends. Oh, great king, we, we don't have much time. Nonsense. We have all the time in the world. Your world, that is. We're not bound by your minutes and hours here in the land of holiday misfits. Time stands still. Well, in that case... It's party time! Yeah, bros. Get the eggnog flowing, man. <laughs> I want to thank you again, Benny and Henrietta, for reuniting me with my boy. Don't mention it. And he's all grown up, in case you haven't noticed, oh great king. What a fine fellow he is. I'm very lucky. 
You sure are. A and despite all that we've heard, the land of the holiday misfits can be a pretty cool place. Benny the Easter Bunny and lovely Henrietta, <laughs> you'll always be welcomed in our land. Thank you, Great King. Maybe we'll visit on vacation next winter. You guys have a deal. Henrietta, let's go home. Uh, ready for your journey back? Ready as we'll ever be. Friends, they come and friends, they go. Stay safe and warm on your way home. After we take care of Cosmo here, you two pesky creatures are next. Then Christmas will be mine too. <laughs> Back off, Bad Clyde. Or you'll do what, donkey face? Or I'll do something I, I might regret. Ooh, I'm real scared. Why don't you go back to the kitchen and bake some cookies for your fatty buddy? I actually lost 10 pounds on an all-vegan diet. You did? You have to give me some recipes. I can stand losing a couple pounds too. Oh, shut up, you two. Clyde, if you don't let go of Cosmo right now, we're going to have a serious problem. He already told you once, Fancy Feet. It sounds like you prefer a clobberin'. Uh, uh, that's enough, you guys. What the? Hey, what are they doing here? I thought we banished them forever. Benny! Henrietta! You're back! But how? Miss me? No! Nice try, you losers. But it's going to take more than an invisible toy and a bad attitude to get rid of the Easter Bunny. Oh, yeah? Well, then let's try again. Only this time we'll send you all the way to the land of dust and bones. <laughs> let's see you try to get back from there while you're still young. Where is that exactly? Benny, how did you two get here? We heard there was no way back from the land of the holiday misfits. It's a long story, Santa, but in short, we met some pretty rad dudes out there who helped us get home safe. And some nasty ones, too. How about we tell you all about it over Easter dinner? That sounds delightful. <laughs> what are we, chopped ham? We're still right here with the great invisible Easter egg of Moffatland, mind you. And you're all about to beat it to the land of dust and bones forever. Then all the holidays will be ours. <laughs> well, just the major ones. Oh, yeah, I, I mean the ones that matter. Right, the big ones. Thanksgiving's pretty big, too. Yeah, but it's like it, it doesn't have a mascot. Turkeys. I know turkeys, but they're not like the Thanksgiving turkey, like the Easter bunny. Right, right. Okay, here we go. Oh, forces of darkness opposed to the light. Oh, powers of pain, oh, bearers of fright. Oh, enough of this. I'll take it from here. Reverse this dark spell, cast straight from the pit, and banish these villains to the land of the holiday misfits. Well, well, well. Look who showed up late to the party! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, no I don't, old pal! <laughs> Welcome to the wonderful land of the holiday misfits! I think you'll enjoy it! Fizzle buns, buddy! Thank goodness you're okay! I was worried sick about you! Mm-hmm. I'll bet you were. I was! I, I hardly slept at all. <laughs> I couldn't eat. I, I I was distraught. And I'll bet you didn't go along with a single thing this guy said, did you? Bad Clyde? <laughs> no, of course not. After what he did to you? Mm -hmm, monster. I can't possibly spend eternity trapped with you two morons. Frizzlebuns, tell me how to get out of here. If there was a way, don't you think I'd have found it? Frizzle buns, I'm not sure you could tell your belly button from a hole in the ground. Now, Benny the Easter Bunny and that bag of feathers named Henrietta got out of here somehow. I want to know how. The Easter Bunny was here? In the land of the holiday misfits? Hm, I never saw him. 
You saw him and you know it, Frizzlebuns. Nope, not me. And if he got out of here, I have no idea how. So it looks like you're stuck forever. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an appointment to keep. An appointment with whom? My friend, the Great Prince. We're having a mad party. <laughs> and he's gonna play the pan flute. Toodaloo! Okay, you guys, if we were smart about this, we can still deliver Easter baskets to each and every kid out there. And no one will ever know that Easter was almost lost this year. Oh, Benny, it's late. Do you really think we can do it all? After the great teamwork we pulled off in the land of the holiday misfits, I know we can, Hen. I have no idea what y'all are talking about, but you know I can fly fast, and I'll help any way I can. Before we continue, let me just say, you two are the best friends an Easter Bunny could ask for. I couldn't do half of this without you guys. Aw, Kulaks. Where do we start? With our maps. And, and we travel smart to make up lost time. As we know, the Earth is encircled by six major wind belts three in each hemisphere. Starting at the North Pole, we ride the polar easterlies down, catch the westerlies, and then we hop to the trade winds to finish up by dawn. I still can't believe we did it, Benny. We escaped the land of the holiday misfits, saved Easter from the clutches of Bad Clyde and his gang, and delivered gift baskets to each and every boy and girl around the world. I need a massage, a petty, and some cornmeal. We did it! <laughs> and that's all that matters. Oh, how did Easter go, guys? It came off without a hitch. We delivered each and every Easter basket to the very last one. That warms my heart, Benny. I shudder to think of a world without Easter. Well, you'll never have to think of it again, because Easter's here to stay. Here, here. Santa, we, we, we heard about all you guys did in our absence, and, and I just want to say thank you. Yeah, thanks a bunch, you guys. Don't mention it. <laughs> Both of you would have done the same for us. I'm certain of it. And besides, we holiday icons have to stick together. You got that right. Gargaff, I had no idea you were a whiz at magic spells and incantations. Neither did I. He's not kidding. We all just found out. And even then, it took some convincing. And all this time, I thought it was only good for guiding my sleigh through the night. Gee, thanks, Santa. Hey. Guiding my sleigh is a task in itself, reindeer, and no one could do it like you do. If not for Gargoff, I'd have hit a mountainside years ago. That's quite the vote of confidence, Gargaff. He's just hoping we'll get into one more adventure before settling in at the North Pole for a few months of R&R. &R. Well deserved R&R, &R, I might add. Truer words have never been spoken. Indeed, Benny. Henrietta, it's been a pleasure getting to spend this time with you this season. Hopefully we can do it again soon. Maybe over my Christmas holiday. <laughs> and maybe without the evil spells and those close calls. I'll second that, Gargoff. And third. And fourth. Like Mrs. Claus always says, the reindeer is the brains of the operation. <laughs> I mean... She's not wrong. She's never wrong. Just ask her. <laughs> Seeing each other again sounds nice, Santa. Maybe we'll swing by the North Pole next winter. Yeah, after we come back from our Land of the Holiday Misfits vacation. What? That's a joke, right? No, she's being serious. But we... But, but you, you... Why would you ever want to go back there? We made some really nice friends when we were there. You should meet them. No, thank you. I think Gargoff's had enough adventuring for a good while, Henrietta. Tell you what, old boy, that's enough flying for a while. What say we head north back to the pole, and I have Mrs. Claus boil us some of that scrumptious hot chocolate for us? 
Here we go. Bye, Benny. Bye, Henrietta. Easy, boy. Easy. See you next Christmas, my friends. Oh, ho, 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 ho. There they go, Hen. Two of a kind. They sure are. Friends like them two are hard to find. We'll see them again, hopefully under calmer circumstances. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know if my new toy will leave much time for relaxation. What new toy? The great invisible Easter egg of Moffat Land. You're kidding, right? No. Where is it? Right there. Get out. Really? Mm-hmm. I grabbed it back at the lair after Gargaf banished Bad Clyde. Whoa. What are you going to do with it? I don't know. Try out some spells? Spells? What spells? Hmm. I only know one. Oh, forces of darkness opposed to the light. Oh, powers of pain. Oh, bearers of fright. <laughs> <laughs>